Hey there, it's David Wong. Do you want to know how to control your emotions while you're in a stressful situation? In life, things never go exactly the way you want. You may get stressed out with some people, some circumstances and situations. But what separates the successful people from people who fail are the people who learn how to manage their stressful situations, control their emotions so that they can keep moving forward. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three easy techniques that you can learn right now that can help you to control your emotions in stressful situations. And why should you listen to me? Because I've trained in martial arts, I've trained in self-defense in highly stressful situations combatively. And also I'm a CEO with many successful businesses with many employees. And I've been through almost every challenge you can imagine when it comes to building a business. If you want to achieve chi life mastery and gain inner strength and inner peace, and also be able to manifest abundance, then make sure you subscribe to this channel to follow me on this journey of Chi Life Mastery. The first technique of overcoming your emotions is to learn how to control your breathing. The same goes for martial arts and also in real life. When you're in a stressful situation, you have multiple cat attackers attacking you, you have fear setting in, the fight or flight mechanism starts to trigger in your brain. The first key thing you need to do is to learn how to calm your breathing. Start taking deep breaths. You can breathe in through your nose and breathe out quietly through your mouth. Consciously start to breathe deeply. If you're in an altercation, no one's going to get mad at you because you're breathing. This will help you to slow down your thoughts and keep you from becoming more angry. And what else it does is to get oxygen in your brain so that you can start thinking clearer instead of reacting to your emotions. So an easy way to practice this is use Qigong meditation method, which is to put your hands on your stomach, on your tummy, on your belly button, and just feel your belly going up and down, rising and falling as you're breathing in and breathing out. And the more you practice doing this breathing exercise, which is so simple, then it'll be easy for you to remember how to do it when a stressful situation does come. The second technique is to learn how to ask questions. Whenever we get stressed out, we tend to start to become emotional. We ask a lot of why questions like, why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? Why is he doing this to me? Why is he attacking me? Or why is this person doing such a thing or saying such a thing? When you start asking why questions, your brain starts to become emotional. By changing your questions that you ask yourself, for example, asking what questions, what do I need to do? What am I feeling? What do I need to do next? What is the problem? What needs to be fixed? And then also asking how questions, such as how do I fix this problem? How do I get out of this situation? How do I navigate through this situation? How do I overcome this situation? How do I make this person calm down? How can I find a solution? By asking questions, you are actually directing your mind and controlling your thoughts to becoming more solution oriented, become more logical rather than emotional. Third way of controlling your emotions during stressful situations is to mentally step back from the moment and pretend that you're just an observer observing what's happening. So if somebody is mad at you, then they're shouting at you, swearing at you, you can step back from this moment and just observe what's happening rather than to respond to it and reacting to it. Or if some negative situation happened that you didn't expect, take a step back and observe yourself and the situation as if you were the third person looking at yourself. And what happens when you do that is you start to detach yourself from the emotion and start to observe the situation from a different point of view. But the key is to learn how to take the time through meditation to get into these states, to step back from the situation so that you can observe yourself observe the situation, observe the other person, and you may be surprised that you will find solutions and answers to problems that you never thought of before. So those are three techniques that you can try to help you to control your emotions in stressful situations. I hope this helps you out, especially during these times. I also recommend you to listen to some of our free quantum meditation frequencies on this channel. You can find a link in the description. These frequencies will help you to change your mood completely, almost instantly. Use them during meditation. It's going to help you to speed your way to Chi Life Mastery. I'm David Wong. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button, make a comment, let me know what kind of stressful situations you've been experiencing and what other solutions you think will be helpful for controlling your emotions during these situations. So until next time, use the Chi and prosper.